This is a kids slow down sign project and it's made out of three quarter inch thick plywood. Overall dimensions are 18 inches wide by 36 inches tall. You can see the text right there. We got bright yellow and black background you know, for contrasting colors, really noticeable. And you've also got these reflective strips. They're on both sides, by the way, flipping around. Same exact thing on both sides. Reflective strips are there so that if you leave the sign out at night, cars can still see the sign. And then you've got a, a carry handle right here. And you've got, uh, it's really two piece construction. The hinge point's right up at the top. Uh, you can show a view of a uh, three, uh, three eighths inch bolt right there that goes all the way through to about here. And there's just two layers of plywood that are glued and screwed together. Yeah, you can see, maybe you can see the screws right there. Yeah, there's the screws right there. And that just forms the, the hinge point. And I'm gonna show a, a better view of what it looks like when it's uh, set up and standing properly. This part down here at the bottom right here on the side is a, another piece of three quarter inch thick plywood and it's the brace. And what you do is you, you'll just flex that piece outward, bring it forward a little bit, and then you can start expanding out the, the two halves of the sign. And that guy will go down flat like that. And then you'll just attach those guys together down at the bottom. There's a, by the way, there's a, a uh, little, I'll show a close up of it down there. It's hard to see it from this wide out, but just added another little detail down at the bottom. This guy here is painted black right here. And that just gives you a visual indicator of where to line that thing up. Just make it a little bit easier to get it installed. This is the stand in its final position right here got the brace installed and it's pretty sturdy you know it's not going anywhere it's resting on the carpet right now so it kind of wobbles a little bit when you put it outside on concrete or the road it's uh real stable it's not going anywhere where it's not going to blow over or anything like that okay to to fold this thing back up you just uh lift this brace part out and then tilt it backward and the, the two halves will kind of fold into on into each other with gravity and then bring this guy back up, bring it out. There's a second set of holes that are on this front piece right here. And th this guy will slide into that second set of holes. And really that was just intended to kind of keep these two pieces from flopping around, you know, when you're, when you're carrying it. So they're gonna stay pretty close together. It's not perfect. I and mean, there's a little bit of bow in this piece of plywood anyway. But um, this is just to keep keep the two halves together when you, when you carry it walking with it and uh, by the way it, it does it is just two thicknesses of three quarter inch plywood there's no other pieces that stick out really again that's just because of bowing right down there um, so it's just a real uh, compact shape when you want to store it in like your garage so this is some views of the project just prior to spray painting it wanted to show you just what that looked like. This guy right here is the back side, and this will be the front side. You got the handle right here, and these two pieces interlock together and are bolted together. And then here's that uh, brace piece that fits towards the bottom that interlocks the two halves of the sign together when they're spread apart at 15 degree angles. So I've got the base coat of yellow sprayed on the part here, and I've got it masked off now to spray the second step, which is black spray. This whole area right here is going to be black. There's a, a perimeter right here that's going to be black. And then, a, then the uh, part of the text for the sign down here will be sprayed black. Okay, I just got done spraying the, the second layer of black and then I masked over the top of everything that I don't want to get uh, sprayed with ye yellow, which will be a third and last layer that I'll put on there for this slow down text. And I don't really need to mask over this top part with yellow, so I'm just not going to do that. 